survey of female happiness in the West shows a, just an, a straight decline since about 1970 till now. Women are becoming less happy in the West. I think it's very obvious. What accounts for that? How can you be happy when all the men around you aren't men, right? We are the most beautiful union that God has possibly created on the planet. A, ma- a feminine woman and a masculine man is the most beautiful union that can possibly exist. It raises children the best. It, both parties are happier. Both parties gain. It's a net positive for everybody. There's no negative. There's no downside. But if you destroy one side of the equa- equation, then the other side is going to be completely and utterly miserable and unhappy. How as a woman can you be happy if you can't find a man who you believe can protect you, provide for you, sticks up for you, has morals, has principles? There's none of those men left. So then what they do is just go from man to man trying to find it. And by the time they've been through enough men to maybe find someone semi-close to it, they've been through too many men to ever be happy. And then you have the absolute destruction of Western society. We talk about why men don't get married anymore. I can tell you why I wouldn't want to get married in America. I don't see the point in being married to a woman who's had so many partners before me that she can't properly pair bond with me and then giving her the opportunity to financially destroy me. I think that would be a bad chess move. And I do believe in marriage. I think society would be better if everyone was married. I'm saying that if you're living in an immoral society, being a moral person, if you're not careful about it, you can get wrecked. If the game is rigged, you'd be very careful if you play it. So how do we encourage men to get married? Well, they need to be worth marrying, but so do the women, right? So everything's decaying on both sides.